Okay, in our app so far, we have it set up so that we're able to connect and create an SQL database. And once the database is created, we create a table for it if it's not already created. And we also have a method to save the data from our screen into the database. So next is what we wanted to do is we're able to add data and save it. And when we go to the show history screen, we want this to have a table view that will grab the information out of the database and display it in the rows on the table. So we need to go into the My Storyboard, or the Main Storyboard, and do some setup here. So we're gonna focus on the flip side view controller over here, and I'm going to open up the panel to the side, and we wanna add in a table view. So I'm gonna scroll in and find table view and I'm gonna connect the data source and the delegate to files owner. To say that this is where the content for the table is coming from. And we also need a table view cell. So I'm gonna drag that up here for our cell prototype. Okay, next I'm gonna go into the flip side view controller header file and we need to add some things in here because it's going to need to access the database. So I'm gonna add this in. We need our import statement for the SQLite 3 header file. And let's take off this menu so we have some room. And we're also going to use an SQLite 3 database again called DB, so we'll add that in here. So we also have a couple of other things to include in here that we did in our main view controller for our database. I'm just gonna paste those in our path to where the database is and we need to open the database in order to be able to access it from this view controller. And while we're reusing things, I'm gonna to go to the flip side view controller implementation file and we're gonna add in the methods here for getting the file path and opening the database. So that's just copied and pasted from the main view controller implementation file. So next we'll set up our view did load because when the view loads, we want it to populate the table with the data from the database. And I did forget one thing in the header file. We're going to use a NS mutable array that's going to contain our information from the database to be able to put it into the, the cell view. So we're going to have an NS mutable array called entries. So back in our implementation file, for view did load, we're gonna call a few different things. We're gonna, first of all, put in our entries mutable array. Next, we're gonna have it open the database, and then we're gonna have it create a string for our SQL query, right? So we have an SQL query. And we're gonna select everything from summary, which is the name of the table that's in the database. Then we're creating an SQL light statement and we're just naming it statement. Then I'm gonna paste in the code that we're gonna to use to execute our SQL statement. Okay, and then we can review this. So again, we have if SQLite prepare, this is going to prepare our statement and run it on our database. It's gonna convert our SQL statement up here into a UTF-8 string for a C statement. And if it's okay, if we're able to execute this, then while we get this information back from our, our query on our summary to get everything from the table, um, it's going to loop through for each record that's been saved in the table. We get each row and we're getting the name of the column and the value of what's in the field. And that gets assigned to field one string. So since field one is our date, this represents our date. This would be our systolic integer, diastolic integer, and then our comments. And then what we do is we take all of those and make a single string, putting them all in together. Now I left out the date because 
the date and time is, is a long a string. So I just have the values for the blood pressure and the comments. But if you wanted to include the date in here, you would have another placeholder. Um, and then we put that into our entries mutable array. So we add our strings in there, so it will add one string after the other after the other into the array. So I'm just going to build this just to test and make sure that you don't have any errors so far. And I do. Um, oh, okay. Again, the new version of Xcode, it doesn't synthesize our properties. So I'm going to come in here and synthesize entries. Now I'm going to build it and see. And just a warning that we didn't use this. I put it in here. As I said, we could add it in. But right now it's just warning us that we didn't use it anywhere. Now, since the storyboard or since the view controller that we used wasn't a table view controller, we don't have all of the methods that go along with a table view controller. So we need to set that up. So to begin with, I'm going to copy and paste in the methods for working with the table. So this will have some pre-filled in information. Right, so we have the number of sections in the table view, and for our purposes, one is fine. We're just going to have one section for this example. For the title in the header section, right, we can create a string and put in some text in there. So we'll just say BP history, and we'll say instead of return zero, we want it to return my title. Now, how many rows should be in there will depend on how many entries we have. So we want it to return the number of entries. And I just have a log statement so that we can see how many there are and so we can match them up and see if that's how many we get. Uh, now we set up the cell for the table. And so we have a cell identifier called cell. This is referring to the cell that is our prototype. And it's gonna repeat that cell over and over again. And so we configure the cell with the text label to be our entries mutable array with the object that's at each row. So when we created that, right, we were looping through the values that are being returned from our SQL request. And it was putting into entries a string that contained all of the information, you know, the uh, BP information and comments. So that became entries. And so that is what is going to get put into our cell string. So let me try running this. I do have a couple of issues over here, but let's see, table created, show history, and we have a crash and burn. So let's see, unable to DQ cell with identifier cell must register a nib for the identifier. Okay, so what that's doing, let me stop this, we'll go back to the code. So when we're creating our table and we're putting in our cell, we're creating a cell identifier. So in our storyboard, we're going to identify that this is the cell that gets used. So if I go to main storyboard and I go to our table view where we put in the table cell view, if I open up the properties panel, Right, it says identifier, reuse identifier. Let's just call that cell. Okay, now let's test that and see if it recognizes it. So we'll tap show history. Okay, and now it pops up with the entries from before. We'll go back, we'll add another one after walking. And we'll say save. And it cleared out our values and we'll do show history and here is the new one that's added. So that is creating and connecting to an SQLite database, using it to add data and then view it back in a table view.